722, you know, it's summertime, so this is when a lot of people want to move, get a new place, maybe uh, someplace where those hot neighborhoods are. So we have uh, Julie Morris with us today. She's a realtor, and Julie, we want to, uh, if we're going to buy, we want to buy in a hot area that right. we can get value, right. a good price, and also know that it's our home is going to retain its value, maybe even grow over the years. Sure. So where should we be shopping? Well, there are a lot of areas to choose from, um, obviously. It's just, it depends on your price range. Um, Scottsdale, we're going to say McCormick Ranch. Um, we were talking about Arc Arcadia Light. Yeah, so I think this is Arcadia Light that we're seeing right now. Yes. So Arcadia Light, 39th Street, uh, Clarendon. Uh, tell me a little bit about Arcadia Light and why you like that area right now. Um, Arcadia Light is a little bit more affordable than Arcadia. Yeah. And there are some bubbles, in, or I wouldn't say bubbles, markets where it's, the prices are increasing rapidly and a little bit harder to get into. Right. Um, so depending on your price point, you might want to uh, expand out beyond those areas, go further north or south, um, beyond the, the target areas that are a kind little bit difficult stay to stay around into. it. I always say Camelback Mountain is not going to move, so it's That's still right. going to be a wonderful, desirable area yes. to live. Yes. Let's go to uh, Chandler now. Yes, Chandler. So is this Acatillo um, area? Acatillo area. There are um, a, a lot of higher priced homes around Alma School and um, uh, Queen Creek. But if you move a little further east and south, you might get a little bit better um, price point. Um, it's it's very difficult to get into properties right now, depending on the price point. So anything under 500, uh -huh. um, you're, you're talking about multiple offers. So the buyer really needs to be prepared ahead of time, right. have all their ducks in a row, pre-qualified and working with a realtor so that they're, they're able to make an offer to get it accepted. So South Scottsdale is our next neighborhood and yes. uh, off of McDowell specifically, uh, why is that? Um, South Scottsdale is a little bit more affordable again mm -hmm. um, and there are the lots are a little bit smaller the homes are older so mm -hmm. it's kind of this up-and-coming area where uh, first-time home buyers can get in um, investors flippers want to go in there and take some of the older homes that are built in the 60s and 70s remodel them so it's, it's a hot area because it's close to everything um, you can walk you can uber you can lift not far from the airport not far yeah. from ASU so a great area. Yeah, it is a great area. And uh, what uh, Scottsdale City Council is going to be revitalizing yes. lot, um, McDowell as well. Yes, and you've probably seen that um, up and down the 101. There's tons yeah. of construction for the last couple of years off of McDowell. Um, new home um, multifamily and also um, condos and townhomes are really popular. Uh, Yes, less maintenance to take care of. Less Don't maintenance and more affordable. Yard. Yeah, yes. that's fabulous. Folks yes. are downsizing too. Yes. Awesome. Julie, thank you so much. I appreciate it.